Alright, what's up guys? So So um Ember Army first and then I'm going to do Lost Battlefield. So I already set up my insignias for Ember Army and it's it's generally the same once you get like the right hero set up once you're able to do it um you basically just reach round 24 and 25 rather quickly so um my dove keeper has stealth i give her the punching box and she has survival now the only thing that's gonna be tricky is um her doves but I want to try out the stealth on her and see how we do in um, Ember. So this is going to be my setup. Anubis, Sasquatch, Walla Walla, Pumpkin Duke, Lavanica, and Dovekeeper. So I'm going to see if I can pause it. I'll pause it and then once I reach round 20, I'll unpause it. Alright, so we're at round 20 uh, times 2 speed. Um, is Lavanica dead? No way my Lavanica died. I think Lavanica's dead. That's insane. So this was a very bad run for me. Terrible run. Pumpkin Duke, Lavanica, and Walla Walla are dead. Yeah, this is a this is a terrible this is a very terrible run. Though we made it to um round twenty five but we did horribly. I don't even know how my Lavanica died. It makes no sense, but just just because she died I'm gonna give her the survival. And I really don't understand how she died, and there's just literally nothing that can kill her. So we're gonna try it again. Hopefully we get better spawns because I don't understand how she died. So I'm gonna go at times four speed, pause it. So I actually lost before round 20. I have no idea what the inconsistency is. It has to be my Dove Keeper. Because the Vanica is dying as well. So I don't understand what could be the issue here. I'm going to take out my Dove Keeper. And what I'm going to try is my Mahatma. And I'm actually taking by 20, 26% extra more HP. I'm going to go with those, the Sacred Light over the Salas Drive and increases HP by 35% and reduces damage received by 26%. Mm, should I take it up to level 6 or should I take up my, my Dove Keeper? Her Elusive doesn't increase though. Well. That's the thing. It just increases her attack and attack speed. It doesn't increase the elusive. So I, in my opinion, this is gonna have a greater impact. So I'm gonna increase, um, sacred light. And I'll use um, I'll use her. And I'll get her up to eight first, and then I'll get um, dove keeper up to eight. Alright, so we're gonna go with that, and we're gonna go with it in, in, uh, last battlefield as well. And I'll keep the, the survival on, on Novanica as well, since, um, it's good for her. So I'm gonna give Walla Walla the Revitalize, and take the Revitalize on him. She's good. And 
I don't use Drake Drake. He had the vital boon. And I believe everybody else is set. She has revitalize. We have an extra war god we could give to somebody. I'll give the war god to Medusa. See if that does anything for her. Because I believe Heartbreaker already has the... She has a... She has an iron wall that's even better. Yeah, so Medusa has the brute force, so I'll give her war god. Alright, so let's go into... Let's go into, um... Most battlefields. Gold Knight is a brawler hero. So we have, we should have the advantage, but this was a light team, so we were neutral on it. Oh, and in case you missed it, I changed my name um, to include my new guild name. So, just a little shout out to Sovereign. Um, John is a very active guild. Uh, guild guild leader online chat and he's always recruiting new members so his guild came in second place in this past guild war but he already kicked out all the people that didn't attack and He's a, it's a pretty active guild in my opinion. They score like 90,000 points in guild war. Average around 90,000. They scored um, 82,000 this past war. Um, against us, when we faced them, they actually reached 89,000. So scoring 89,000 is in their range. And there were a few stragglers who didn't attack. And there were some that didn't finish attacking. Or maybe they hit low or something. Yeah, but it's still a good guild. I highly recommend it. So let's see. Alright, so Golem is a light hero. So we'll go like this, even though, yeah, weak team, but it's still important to practice good habits. Because you never know, maybe he could be, um, he could be trying to bait, bait you into sending out like a weak team, and then he has like a weak hero. So, so, uh, you don't want to gamble too much. So that was a golem. So that could be another light team. And I believe it was a light team. So we had the complete advantage on that one. So we got that one. And now we're going up against his weakest team. And Medusa's actually surviving thanks to um Sasquatch's freeze. Mm, 447. I generally don't like to face off against Sasquatch teams because Sasquatch is a very versatile hero, so you can't really tell. Right now he has a skin, so it's really hard to tell. I'll go up against the Rhino. Rhino's a brawler hero, so we're gonna go like this. It's just really hard to tell, like... When they have a Sasquatch in the team, it's really hard to tell what... 
formation it could be because it's just very versatile. I think he has a Roman. So he could time me out right here. Alright, so this team has a chance and we proc. Yeah, so we're at 454 with four days to go and I'll try um the Ember Army again but we did terribly and I logged into last round. I did my one attack and there was literally there was literally nothing so for me like this past update like I think it's been like two or three days since I've seen one of these bosses and I've only gotten like um the blue insignias or the green insignias I haven't even gotten a mythic insignia Typical IGG, you complain enough and then they'll. Like, is it even worth it? I'll just get it. But we're gonna do one more. And if we don't get another one, then we're done. So, this is the most bosses I've seen since they created this. I've only seen. The most I've seen is two in a row. Uh, I've played, I play one, one, like, one matchup at least every day just to, like, change it, but, like, I really hate Lost Realm, like, they just made it too grindy and it's pointless. Like, I do, on my last, uh, on my free roll for Pirate's Booty, I got a level 8 insignia, so it's like... Man, these are all terrible. These are all terrible. This how is this mythic? Where's the revitalize? How do they have a mythic insignia pack and there's no revitalize in here? Bulwark is a rare crest. So how is revital how is this a mythic insignia pack and there's no revitalize in there? This is pointless. Iron Will 2, I literally have like a bunch of iron wool insignias that I don't even use in my warehouse. I can make an iron wool six. But where's the red crystals? That's my biggest complaint. So anyways, um I'm gonna do Ember Army a reset. Hopefully I I don't know if I should use Dove Keeper. I'm not gonna use Dove Keeper. I'm gonna use Mahatma. Mahatma with the Sacred Light. Do you have Sacred Light and Life Chain Insignia? So, I don't know if it's gonna be better. 40%. 35. We're gonna see. So, peace out and I hope you enjoyed the video.